Okay, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how to set it all up. So after doing some programming, and you have a client that you're ready to export, so this is how you're going to do it. If you're in Eclipse and you're wanting to export an entire client all at once, and not have an issue with uh, mods or whatever, just compile and send it to a friend or whatever, you're going to head to your Minecraft dot uh, minecraft folder versions and whatever version you decompiled this is very important you have to copy that folder so I believe that was my test one I don't need it go away so you're gonna copy that and you're gonna rename it whatever you wanna export it as so I'm just gonna call it I like Star Wars. Let's just call it that. Um, where are you? There you go. Uh, so, very important, you're going to... Uh, the fun part... Uh, you can either... Uh, since I'm in Ubuntu, you can Archive Manager, open that and copy things out. Or, if you're not, and you're trying to figure out how to open a jar file. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. literally just do that just rename it a dot zip remove the dot jar and just rename it dot zip or you can even just leave it dot jar dot zip at the end it'll still be a zip file and now you can just open it up like any regular zip file uh, you want this assets folder that's what you really want so you want to copy that out and now you can delete that you don't need that anymore so your client you right click and you go to export you want to find your jar file setting inside Java you want to go next uh, all, just click that and make sure everything is unchecked and just check the source because that's all you really need that, whole, that has all your code in it anyways so you're just going to check your source folder uh, go to browse go to your minecraft dot, dot minecraft file uh, folder go to your versions and find that folder you just made. So mine was the force. So I'm going to put it in there, the force. And you have to rename it. You have to, have to, have to rename it. The name of the folder. So the force. You're going to rename it to that. Uh, dot jar. And click OK. And you can compress and whatever else. I just leave it the whatever default settings was. Finish. And okay with warnings warnings are the little triangles they really don't hurt you at all um, as long as it doesn't say you have any errors warnings are fine so now that you have exported it you're again going to uh, open it just for the simplicity for those on windows dot zip and now open it take your assets folder drag it in uh, you could delete your start uh, dot class and your met inf uh, class or file folder whatever you don't need those two and close it now you're going to change that back to a dot jar and while we're in here I want to just copy this name because we want to use it multiple times so we copy that rename this to whatever that folder is or that file is and we're going to open that and go up here you see this first line ID or second line whatever and rename that to exactly what the folder to the jar file is and the complicated part thanks to Microsoft go all the way down here's the fun part this part is going to give us a lot of trouble and a lot of headache and this is why I wanted to make this tutorial for you all so this file you're going to find what are the version of it and we're going to rename it with whatever our dot um, jar file was named uh, up here this says assets don't change that it'll give you other headaches uh, this big file these two big things they're the same and we are going to have to get the md5 or sha1 this one's sha1 so 
we go over to terminal or command prompt uh, search how to do that in command prompt I don't know how to SHA1 sum space make sure you put the space in there and you're gonna have to come back here to your jar file and you have to put the path to that jar file hit enter and it's going to give you the number uh, I have to said whatever number and you want to go back to there and both of these big long numbers you're going to replace it with that number all right so good and now we have to do one more thing uh, properties windows it's going to give you two type two size numbers it's going to give you a uh, file size and then also a file on disk size or something like that you want the file size the actual file size so in bytes so you're going to copy that and you're going to replace the size just the size number paste remove the commas remove the commas and that's pretty much all you need to do you have to save that now now you can bring your launcher up alright so I expect you know how to make new profiles I already have a test profile so you go into your whatever profile um, I automatically I uncheck the automatically send stuff for uh, fixing crashes this game's not since you've modified it, it's not going to work. Um, I leave the launcher open, so you click on that and keep the launcher open. I just do that for debugging purposes. And you go to your release, and you find your release, the force. Everything has to be named correctly, otherwise it's not going to work. And save your profile. Go back to test if it changes. I don't know why it does that. Then uh, you may also notice why I play off. I'm setting to play offline when you're testing and setting everything up if you're online it will literally download the correct version delete this file and well you you won't know it'll still start the game but it won't be the the client you want the other thing copy and just paste that file there uh, as a backup in case it doesn't work it will just completely delete this just completely delete it and then you have to redo everything all over again so just make a copy of it and then click play and it's going to put the game output and it looks like it's going to work for me so yep it works So now that you know it works, you can come over here, you can delete your copy, you can delete the other side thing and the assets, and that's the only two things you need for your client. Everything works now. Have fun playing.